Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and yesterday saw the arrival of my Kickstarter copy of Salvation Road. I uh, just got the base game, but I uh, thought I'd share with you what's in the box for when it hits retail in the next few weeks. So, of course, it's by Van Ryder Games uh, by Michael Kelly, Peter Gusis, which I'm probably saying incorrectly, and the art by Vanessa Kelly. The art's pretty cool. Cartoony. But thematic. I like it. Back here. The world's end was just the beginning. Somehow I am getting into these uh, in the world you know, post apocalyptic or whatever, which, of course, biblically, post apocalyptic means something completely different. But the Mad Max theme. Etc. 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 So let's see if we can get this box open. All right. So there's the box. And why not start with the rule book? Right on top. Oh man. Love new game smell. So awesome. The world's wasteland, ravaged and ruined by power, man was not meant to wield. Dun dun dun. So. 16 page book. Annoyingly, it's the full size of the box rule book. That be in mind. Kind of too. But hopefully, you learn the rules and you don't have to consult it all the time. It's just annoying when you have to get this thing out and whack it across the board because it's so flippy. But anyway, neither here nor there. This is the rule book you got. Because you can always get the PDF. I like that it gives a component list. That's very good. Starts with setup, which I actually like when I start right with the setup, give a diagram, take you straight in. That's what you want to do. You want to get the game out, you want to set it up, and start learning rules that way. Uh, full color, kind of a washed out thematic sepia tone to it, but still color. Threat, so on and so forth. How to play the game. Variants. Ooh, you know it. Five to eight players. Oh, so I guess half are playing the uh, maybe the tagalongs and half are playing the good guys. Whether they're called the tagalongs, you get the. Uh, there's some of you doing something where you play a hero, but you also play victim or a civilian or something like that who's just who, who provides a negative influence or a drain kind of like the kid who always needs their insulin in the movies and they have to the fight for it so here we have components nice and thick a lot of white space on this thing so i don't know why that's a huge binocular I mean, it's first player token I have a track you can load stuff into Character icons, standees, markers, fuel, ammo, marauders. I like the artwork. I think it's really good. I also really like, I know this has been discussed a lot, and it's always bugged me since I was a kid, even as a teenage boy. But it just because I think about things, I analyze things probably too much. It always bothered me when I would, I used to work in a used bookstore and I would put away science fiction and fantasy books. And you got the guy all decked out in his armor, except for maybe Conan who's running around with hardly any armor. But all the, all the girl characters were like so skimpy, skimpy clad and just stupid. I was like, why aren't you protecting yourself? But so fortunately this seems to have people in Normal attire, normal clothing, just good, except this guy, I don't know what he's doing. Dude, put some armor on. Just more tokens. And we got a board, which we'll put up in a second. Cards, a bag of bag bags. Bag of dice, I just got the regular dice that are included. I did not opt for anything metallic. For the standees, for these guys. 
to get on the board. Guys and gals, excuse me. And, oh, I did get a bonus add on pack. Thanks for the Kickstarter. Two new location cards and four new apocalypse cards. Are you a glutton for punishment? No, I am not. Give me the easy way first. I love that they look like really old Polaroid photos. Which is probably some people watching this and playing this that have never actually seen a real Polaroid photo. There are character cards. Special actions. Uh, location for the guys. I'm just going to write these out. Carl Murphy, commanding influence. He's a hero. It says so right on the back. So I'm going to have to my location card there at the bottom. I don't know. That's your, that's your cheat sheet. That's your player reference cards. These are the resources, the actions you can take, and it's all locations. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Lane Rider does really great. I'm really looking forward to this one. And get through some personal stuff and the other. The other uh, games in the queue. These are location cards, I assume. There you go. All right, yeah, location the Nomad Camp. I'll just put that one up pretty good. Again, awesome. Look like we're real Polaroids. Very cool. The observatory. Scrap yard. Okay, so we'll put all those later. Deck of cards. Uh, I guess these are treasure, maybe. What happens when we open these? Um, cards here. Those don't, look, those don't look good. Let's get more other cards, maybe. We better strike a bargain, one that doesn't include our execution. Nice. Oh, a bonus here for hostage negotiator. The Defender, the Negotiator card. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So if you have Hostage Negotiator, that's what I gotta do. And this goes with that. And I'll put that in later. So we get the board open. So the board is now open. It's pretty much a just a four panel board, four size, uh, four times the size of the box. So I'm guessing about 24 by 24 ish. Um, kind of, kind of plain, but it's made to look, I think, like. Like this is your map. You're squatting down in the dirt, tracing out, you know, your football play or whatever you're doing. Uh, that is obviously that sketches too, so it's kind of weird. Look, you got some brown paper from the butcher, and you got your plans, and you got a real map there that gives you some information. Reference chart. It's made to just kind of blend right in. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, it looks great. I mean, it looks cool. It's very, like I said, very thematic. Uh, but I'm not sure uh, how functional it is in terms of actually playing until I play it. But based on all the videos I've seen and the testers I've seen, I'm sure it's perfectly fine the way it is. But uh, anyway, so that is what you get. You can bought or buy Salvation Road from Van Ryder Games. Looking forward to it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.